Hello, this is YLAM, and today we're going to be looking at a new frame from Atmospheric Adventures. This is going to be the Apollo 2 frame. Uh, this actually is a very small frame. It's going to support a 3-inch prop size. So we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look. So we'll go ahead and open it up. So the first bag here, we have the antenna tubes for your receiver. We have battery strap your XT60 connector and this 3D printed part right here is actually to hold your center spacers so we'll use that in a second. We have the power distribution board from Atmospheric Designs. It has uh, plenty of spaces where you can hook up uh, your ESCs and other things like LEDs. So good design there. We have your camera holders. This is a front camera holders and these two would be your side camera holders. Here are all of the spacers and the screws that come with the set. Uh, usually speaking, they usually give you plenty, so I'm sure we'll have some left over. And then this right here looks to be the top plate. As you can see, uh, there's guards for your propeller so that uh, it's going to be very friendly for flying indoors or uh, in small spaces to where it can bump up against things, but it won't knock you out of the air because the propellers are protected. Put that over here. And then here is the bottom plate. Uh, this one in particular has a very thin carbon fiber. Obviously with a uh, three inch prop, you're going to need uh, to have a very lightweight quad. So uh, it's definitely thinner carbon fiber, but with a three inch prop, you're not gonna be going super fast anyways. So it's perfectly fine. So here is the Apollo 2 put together. A uh, really neat frame. Definitely excited about actually building one of these out. I always enjoy having a frame that I can uh, fly indoors and with these nice uh, protectors for the propellers uh, definitely makes it a little bit safer and a little bit easier to save your propellers when you're flying indoors. Uh, very light frame even though we use uh, a large number of these spacers. So we're looking at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 spacers and they still have two spacers left over for us and a few of the uh, red screws, which these feel, uh, they feel like aluminum screws. They're really light screws. This is still a very light frame. Uh, down in the center over here, what you'll notice is that we've put in the camera plates and these will most likely be able to hold the uh, HS 1177 camera. So a very standard size camera that you can get easily that's really high quality. Uh, back here, we have our 3D printed part. This is actually an optional piece. Uh, you can actually n not use this and it'll be perfectly fine. But what this does is that it routes your receiver antennas out to the top so that uh, uh, there's basically a nice uh, simple way to route to your receiver antennas to the top of the frame. But uh, if you already have a way that you'd like to do it, like through zip ties and whatnot, then uh, you don't have to use this 3D printed part. Back here is a small space for your VTX and then uh, there's a space down at the center over here for a full-size flight controller board. So definitely a very cool frame. I uh, look forward to actually building this out. Uh, the person that's actually going to be building this out is uh, Boba Fett FPV. He's going to be doing this on a live screen. So if you're interested in this frame, uh, definitely go over to his site and uh, check out when he's going to do the full build out of this frame. Uh, I'll be definitely be interested and I'll tune in uh, to see it.